Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. I'm seeing a lot of water come through in their side of the spread. This person seems to be having... I'd say it's a bittersweet year for them. There is some challenges here. Um, there's some uncertainty on both ends. But this person's having to do some shadow work here can be someone who does have control issues and they're having to look at, you know, their relationship with power. It's sort of confronting um, themselves here and their inner demons. It is a bit difficult. I'm seeing their intuition and their emotions being all over the place. Although they are coming through as the King of Cups upright, it is someone who's trying to make sense of their emotions, but they are scattered here. Yeah, it'll be an up and down period for them. Can even in terms of you, Scorpio, I'm getting a strong love-hate uh, connection here. Especially if there is distance between the both of you. Um, you're in no communication. Um, that can be why, right? Where there's a lot of unknown, they don't quite know uh, what you're doing here. So there may be some secrets. Um, you're coming through as a bit of a mystery and they don't know what direction to go because even in the king of cups i noticed that his toes are pointed in two different directions and i was talking about uncertainty i definitely see that so they don't quite know um, what to do when it comes to this situation they're having a hard time listening to their intuition is what i'm seeing in their overall energy and this can be in regards to your relationship but also other aspects of their life where they feel a bit torn, right? They're feeling um, their head is pulling them in one direction and their heart is pulling them another, which is also causing some challenges with the square. For your overall energy, Scorpio, we have Jupiter, Trine, Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands upright. It's a beautiful year is what I'm getting. I love Jupiter. That is our planet of blessings. Um, expansion, good luck, and trying is also, can be talking about your talents, it can talk about good luck as well, right? Things naturally coming to us, um, it's, it's an auspicious energy with Jupiter and trying. But with the Nine of Cups in reverse, I'm getting a few messages here. Nine of Cups in reverse can be someone who's feeling a bit bogged down, right? Um, we're feeling emotionally drained. We're feeling tired. So although we are attracting a lot of luck, especially when it comes to finances, I'm getting because 10 of wands is a card of hard work, right? Um, <laughs> look at the bottom deck energy, 10 of pentacles, empress. Yeah. I see you coming out on top um, in regards to whatever you're pursuing. Uh, your career, your finances, your home life, I don't know, whatever you have on your mind here, right? But there is some sacrifices that you'll have to make here. Um, some of you, it can be, you know, all work and no play. So you'll have to find some sort of balance when it comes to that. And others of you, it's almost you're working hard. You have your head down. If we look at the Ten of Wands, he doesn't quite see where he's headed, right? Or he doesn't see a solution to his issues. And others of you, yeah, it's, you're, you're working hard, you have your head down, but it's almost you're losing sight of the big picture with Jupiter, right? So you're forgetting why you started, right? What was the initial motivation? It's almost getting too bogged down by the details is what I'm seeing here. So make sure that's advice. Don't lose sight of the big picture. Don't forget why you started in the first place. And make sure you take the time out to enjoy your little wins here and there, right? And that we need to maintain some sort of work-play balance here as well. I want clarity on your energy because it's your reading, so why not? Why is Nine of Cups in reverse here? It's also another thing I'm getting for you if I look at the rest of your spread. There's a need to be grateful here as well, right? There's a lot to celebrate and look forward to, it, but it's almost you're not seeing um, how lucky you are. There's some people that would 
um, give anything, right, to be in your position. I'm not taking that. Why is Nine of Cups in reverse here? But Justice was wanting to come through. Why is Nine of Cups in reverse? Justice for me is also a card of balance. Why is Nine of Cups in reverse here for Scorpio's overall energy? We have Empress, Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's some emotional dissatisfaction here. This has to do with you, right? Your inner world is not so much what is going on around you is what I'm seeing. We have Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're feeling emotionally exhausted in regards to some aspect of your life, yet you're also having a hard time uh, detaching or releasing yourself, yourself from whatever this uh, situation is. For example, if it's um, about this connection with the Ten of Wands, you feel it's one-sided, but you've also invested a lot of emotions, time, energy, so you are having a difficult time uh, releasing, right? What is this Ten of Wands about for Scorpio? Also, Nine of Cups in reverse can be a card of codependency, right? Um, you're not feeling the most confident, but it's almost fake it till you make it with that Queen of Wands. You'll get there, right? It's just a faith. Why is Ten of Wands here? Yeah, you will have that solution. I was saying you don't see a way out. You will. You will have that breakthrough uh, with the Ace of Swords. It's almost you're completing a cycle. You're. <laughs> it's just around the corner, so keep going. Because whatever you have been focusing on, I see a lot of abundance. Um, expansion. We have Empress here twice from two different decks, and she's coming through upright. We have the Queen of Wands upright. Some of you, this can be a pregnancy right where you're feeling tired and you're almost there right nine months with that ace of swords so it can be as simple as that as well for some of you the moon yeah you'll get there a lack of foresight which is why i was saying do, don't lose sight of the bigger picture um three of wands in reverse right we're not seeing a way forward we don't know where we're headed but it's saying it's okay you don't have to know all the answers right take that step forward take the first step it's almost stepping into the unknown and you will be guided at least your intuition is here to help you right Whoever you were dealing with, they were having a hard time listening to their intu intuition. Yours is on point, so keep listening and moving forward, right? You are being guided is what I'm getting. How this person will be viewing you? We have two major arcana, the devil and temperance in reverse. This person sees you as breaking free from the chains of the devil, all right? Any one-sided uh, situations, connections, you know, developing healthier habits. If this person, you know, there was some codependency here between the both of you, um, there was some toxicity, they see you as working on yourself, you're becoming more self-aware. I see you doing a lot of inner work reflection here in your outcome as well. And you are, you are coming to some realizations, what you need to cut out here. Uh, moving forward and some of you it can be this person this relationship which is why they're seeing you breaking free from them right especially if they are emotionally draining the reason they this seems to be someone who's aware right if this was a toxic codependent relationship or was bringing out the worst in you some way right because temperance in reverse is a very restless can be impatience, but it's two people not coming together um, because, you know, you're headed in one direction, they're headed in another, and you don't feel that you both can come together. Clarify temperance in reverse. Hermit. Yeah, they see you as withdrawing. I was telling you about you coming to realizations, doing some inner work. That is exactly what you're doing, Hermit. You're working through any insecurities here, Eight of Swords. 
it can be um, self-sabotage here so if this is your significant other you're married to them they see you improving and you working on yourself right and others of you you're releasing this person and you're in hermit mode where you're recovering recuperating it's beautiful i like this for you scorpio the devil in reverse but the temperance in reverse it's mostly uh there is some work to do here right it's not easy um to break free from the chains of the devil you'll have to muster up a lot of strength courage which i see you doing and a lot of this is coming from alone time right you recharging your batteries but also your spirituality so look to your faith your spirituality for strength they're trying to guide you here with the moon so you're never alone never forget that with that five of pentacles in your outcome how you will be viewing this person we have queen of pentacles in reverse the tower upright so you're seeing them as someone who's very unstable um, some of you this can definitely be a divorce a separation a job loss right someone who's not financially stable they don't have their priorities right They're, they don't have their priorities set straight here so you're viewing them as someone who's unstable why is scorpio viewing this person as the queen of pentacles in reverse yeah you see that can be they're not offering you the stability you're seeking or they're having some issues with their finances Their home life, their finances. Why is the tower here for how Scorpio is viewing this person? Yeah, this is a separation, a disagreement. Ten of cups in reverse. So if you were together, there can be a disagreement or you both not seeing eye to eye. So that is how you're seeing them. That there is some instability within this relationship. Or some chaos confusion here for how you're viewing them. How they'll be feeling about you, we have Page of Cups, Two of Pentacles in reverse. I'm seeing some moodiness. And some of you, if it's a new person that disappeared, and you're seeking clarity in regards to that energy, this seems like someone who gave up before they even tried. Um, there's some insecurities here. Let me clarify. Why is Page of Cups in reverse here for how this person on Scorpio's mind will be feeling? Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's, it's almost it didn't get off the ground. It didn't reach its fullest potential. For one, this person seems to be very divided, distracted. So I, I definitely see an ending, a betrayal. Um, some of you, if you chose to end this with the devil in reverse, you removed yourself, right? Yeah, this person is hurt. Um, the situation is triggering. It brought forth a lot of insecurities and they're working on healing themselves. Very few of you, if you ended the situation, this person's holding on to some sort of grudge or resentment with the four of pentacles. I'm seeing some stubbornness in their outcome. And those of you, you're still involved. I am seeing a lot of insecurities, overthinking. Because Page of Cups in Reverse can be a very timid energy. Paired with a Ten of Swords, it can definitely be um, negative self-talk, right? Feeling less than. Why is Two of Pentacles in Reverse here? For how this person will be feeling. Two of Swords. Yeah. Being at a crossroads, having a hard time making a decision. Two of Pentacles in Reverse. This person was unstable when it came to their home, their finances, and as a result, it feels like they weren't able to invest into this situation either, but they had a decision to make. Perhaps they weren't in that state of mind to make it, because with the high priestess in reverse, they, right, there was some confusion. Why is two of pentacles in reverse? Especially if you pulled back, then they had no choice but to drop this situation.
a few of you, they had a decision to make between their significant other and yourself, or you could have been a sig their significant other and they had another energy, right? But it's almost someone who's sticking to their comfort zone. Um, there's a little bit of um, stubbornness here um, in terms of change for this person. And those of you, you don't resonate with any of those stories. I definitely can be, I'll have to give you all the scenarios I'm getting, right? Because there's a general reading, it can be anything. And there's many ways we can interpret these cards, but I'm also getting someone who's very goal oriented, right? So they're saying, I can't, I can't handle my work, my love life. I, I feel unstable. That is how you are viewing them. My, my finances aren't in order, right? So I, I don't have time to focus on love. I need to focus on myself and my coins here. There's some goals they have in mind and they're having a hard time managing both uh, situations here. Or they will be. So some of you, if you're, there may be some issues, right? I was getting some arguments and that argument can be as simple as they're having to prioritize as well, right? You're not having enough time to give, invest. So that may be something you'll have to discuss if that is the case. Um, you know, for them to find some sort of balance here. For how you'll be feeling, we have Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords. So you are coming to some sort of realization. You're having more clarity when it comes to the situation. And you feel that in order for this situation to continue, there will have to be some significant changes here with the Wheel of Fortune. And until that happens, there's more uh, balance here. I see you, uh, I don't know, King of Swords is not the most emotional energy to get in someone's feelings. It's someone who's very illogical, clear thinking, right? They're studying the facts. And Wheel of Fortune can be karma as well. So it can be Scorpio. Um, also taking responsibility for the part you played. Because King of Swords is a very fair, just energy. So it may be you reflecting on past events, right? What led you to the position you're in right now? So definitely see that. A lot of thinking. But yeah, you, you have boundaries here. And you are wanting to see some changes. Let's clarify. But also Wheel of Fortune is a card of, you know, ups and downs, can be moodiness. And King of Swords uh, is a bit opposite. So there's contradicting energy here in your feelings, right? With the Wheel of Fortune moodiness, King of Swords likes to be in control of their emotions. Sometimes they can be in denial of their feelings as well, right? Not wanting to feel anything for another. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for how Scorpio will be feeling? Oops. Why is Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, you feel I can't keep going with the Ten of Wands here as well. Um, I need to put this slow down. I can't carry on like this, right? So that is what you're realizing here as well. So it's a a lot of major arcana and they're coming through as upright wheel of fortune the world judgment so you also have a decision to make here and a lot of you are wanting to close out one chapter to begin afresh a new slate with judgment others of you could be wanting a second chance in this relationship but a lot of you i'm seeing you're wanting to release the past you're wanting changes you're wanting to move forward why is the King of Swords here? Five of Cups. Yeah, it's wanting to, wanting peace of mind. Some of you, there was a rejection or feeling left out. With that five of pentacles, four of swords, this can be a ghosting energy or little to no communication. There's some difficulties here, right? And that is what you're coming out of. So I do definitely see that moodiness, emotional burdens can be other people. 
Some of these burdens can be yours, some of it can be those around you. And you're wanting to release the past. You're wanting change. I, I see 555. Five, five. I see you being ready and you are wanting to confront your fears, walk into the unknown. You rarely get that in a reading and I see it for you, right? It's cutting through any illusions, trying to get to the root of the issue here, really. Why is King of Swords here for how Scorpio will be feeling? Yeah, there's some avoidance here. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. There's some, you know, things didn't, things failed to get off the ground or there's some delays here, which was causing you a lot of disappointment is what the cards are indicating. And some of you, you felt there was some deception, things you didn't know with the Seven of Swords, which is why the King of Swords, right? King of Swords is not an easy king to fool. It's a very sharp mind, sharp eye, right? So nothing really gets past them. So there may have been some trust issues, which is why you're sort of saying it's, you know, mind over heart for me. I'm putting my emotions aside, five of cups. Yeah, this sucks. I don't feel the best, but I have to do what's right for me. For this person's outcome, Scorpio, we have four of pentacles, the chariot. Yeah, there's... This person is sticking to their comfort zone, right? And there's a fear of the unfamiliar. Um, there's a fear to, you know, stepping into the unknown for you as well, but you're more so going for it, right? It's almost you have no choice. The universe is sort of pushing you in that direction with that wheel of fortune, Jupiter. Another thing I'm seeing here, Scorpio, it's a bit of a theme when I look at your side of this spread, because I was saying there's a need to be grateful. You have a lot of um abundance you know good news coming towards you a lot to celebrate and look forward to but even in the five of cups in your feelings we have her mourning the three cups and she's not paying attention to the two cups standing behind her right and i'm seeing that so yeah practicing more gratitude here for what we do have rather than what we don't if that resonates with you or will be right uh, moving forward but yeah they're this person, they're resistant to change, whereas you were being forced to step out of your comfort zone. With the chariot in reverse, I see stagnancy. I see things being stuck. If this person is committed to you, right, you're in a home situation together, I don't see them going anywhere. We have the king of cups, queen of hands. There may be some upheaval, ups and downs, but they're very much safe and comfortable where they're at. It's almost someone who's not wanting to make room. If you're not in a situation with this person, that is what I'm getting. They're clinging to what they have and they're very closed off. Why is four? Yeah, look at that. Seven. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, very guarded. Not letting anyone in and stubbornly sticking to their point of view. They're very defensive. Why is the chariot in reverse here for this person's outcome? Some of you, there may be travel or distance, um, which is proving to be an obstacle here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Wands. Definitely can be travel as well with Jupiter. So it may not be... Let me see. They. F mm, why is chariot in reverse here? Yeah, Nine of Cups in reverse, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. But <laughs> you, were viewing, you're, you're, you were viewing them as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's some moodiness, neediness. This person's... There's some mirroring here. You started off the reading with the Nine of Cups and they're ending with the Nine of Cups. Um, yeah, they don't seem to be very uh, satisfied with where they're at. But why is temperance here? So they may feel it's something about timing here as well, Scorpio, right? 
that it's not the right time to make changes or move forward, which is why, wow, chariot in reverse, chariot in reverse. Yeah, because there's differences here. They're saying, five of wands, I don't want the drama, the gossip surrounding this situation. What will people say for some of you? But it can be differences in personality, right? We don't get along. We don't see eye to eye. There's a lot of arguments bickering here. Five of Pentacles. And this person is coming through as very stubborn with that King of Pentacles in earth, right? They're extremely stubborn and fixed on what they want. And they seem to be, King of Pentacles in reverse can also be a very materialistic energy. Someone who's selfish, very focused about on themselves and their needs, that they're not seeing how their actions are impacting another, right? And as a result, you may be feeling left out, feeling lonely with even if you're in a relationship, right? There are some challenges here. Why is the moon here for Scorpio's outcome? Four of Swords. Yeah, you're just wanting a break. Um, you're mentally exhausted and you're also getting some um, guidance here. If you are meditating, you're being shown the way and I was telling you that throughout the reading. But I see a lot of self-reflection, spiritual development. You're working on yourself. Why is Five of Pentacles here? Why is Five of Pentacles here for Scorpio's outcome? Six of Swords, forward movement. Why is Five of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Can be, because this person's deceptive. They involved you in some toxic situation. There was third, fourth parties, Seven of Cups. And they were viewing you as the devil in reverse. So some of you could be ghosting this situation. Because if we look at the Five of Pentacles, they have their back turned to the rest of the spread. And what are they walking into? I asked if you'll get new love. Um, if you'll get new love. And um, if there's new love coming towards you. We have Knight of Swords and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And both of the characters with the Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles are moving forward. So some of you are abandoning the situation. It's not satisfying and you're moving into a different direction here. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Normally, I don't think um, in regards to how I lay out the cards, but it just happens that this is how they're laid out. And we have this Knight of Swords charging towards you. If you want new love, Scorpio, it's around the corner. Normally, I'm telling you, you know, have patience, divine timing. But Seven of Pentacles in reverse tells me that if you want new love, you can have it and you don't have to wait much longer, right? So it's when you're ready, new love is here, is what they're saying. But there's a sense of urgency um, because Knight of Swords here is a very one of the fastest moving knights. So if you are actively dating, you're looking for new love, I don't see you having to wait um, too long here. Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, wow, yeah. They've said you've done the work for a lot of you, you've been patient, and there's someone coming in. I want more information about this Knight of Swords. Usually personality-wise can be someone who's a bit hot-headed. Um, they don't think before they speak, they rush in, think later. They can be, they're usually very direct to the point, so you can rely on them if they say something, they do mean it. But it is an impatient energy. So definitely new love is wanting to... <laughs> if you've been in hermit mode, seriously. Answer that door. They're coming. They're knocking. Why is Knight of Swords here for Scorpio? New love. Why is Knight of Swords here? lovers can be a Gemini headed your way some of you I also have ten of Pentacles bottom deck energy knight of wands six of swords yeah oh okay some of you may meet this person while traveling we have the world nine of Pentacles six of swords knight of wands ten of Pentacles definitely talks about forward movement 
Um, it doesn't literally have to be travel, but it's just moving to the next phase here, right? Um, but you will have a decision to make. Lovers can be a head over heart decision, especially if you are leaving one situation for another. So, but yeah, this person's very communicative. They want to come in. There's, it seems to be mutual. It's almost a twin flame energy with the lovers, if you believe in that. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. New love. Tell me more. What are they all about? Empress Magician. Three major arcana. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, but you're having to release some unstable situation you were in. A relationship, a work situation, a thought process, I don't know. Um, because you were clinging to something here in the how we started out the reading. Um, so you will have to release, right? Um, do some cleaning house, cleaning out mental clutter, right? What is working for you, what is not? Um, and that can be cutting off ties with some toxic people around you. But they're saying they're, this union is destined, it's fated. It's very fortunate. Um, and there's a lot of potential. If some of you want children, because I'm seeing it, Empress can be growth, but it can also be pregnancy. So if you want a family, I see that there's a lot of potential here. But another thing I'm being drawn to here is you're coming through as the King of Swords, and this energy is coming through as the Knight of Swords. Um, so there may be some differences here. You seem to be more experienced or mature. Not that this person is immature, that's not what I'm saying, but... Or perhaps it's talking about the age difference here. But you, you're coming through as a bit more wise here in terms of how you communicate and express yourself. But there's a strong magnetic pull here, Scorpio, and a strong intellectual bond. Um, we have Mercury coming through twice with the lovers and magician. So yeah, they're, they're rushing in, they're wanting to communicate and to know you better. But definitely a strong mental bond here. Look, Knight of Swords again. This person can be someone who's quite argumentative as well. They're very sure of themselves and their opinion, and they have no issue expressing that. But you seem to be on a similar vibration with the lovers, so I don't see much issues here. Maybe some verbal sparring here and there, but there can be a lot of love here as well, right? Lovers and empresses also. The Empress is also Venus energy. What is this Knight of Swords energy intentions towards Scorpio? That is, if you choose to pursue new love. Eight of Wands. Communication. There's a lot of excitement, passion that this person is bringing towards you. What is this Knight of Swords intentions towards Scorpio? Get one more judgment. Can be that this person's also uh, coming out of a situation, so that may be something you relate over. Very few of you, it can be a past person, all right? Um, that this, this, it can be this person because they were having a hard time listening to their intuition. Um, they were very resistant to change, to compromise, right? And it can be a realization and awakening with that high priestess. They finally have that, that inner knowing, the guidance, right? And regards to what step they need to take. And I see a lot of back and forth communication, but it also depends on what you are manifesting, Scorpio, right? Because we had the magician here. So if you are manifesting new love, um, this is a second go at love for you, right? Um, you're being guided in the correct, dis <laughs> you're being guided in the right direction here in order to find this person. It's almost your, bo your paths are being aligned so you both can meet up. But yes, initially this person is, there's something deeper here, right? It's not about the superficial. I'm seeing a strong intellectual, but also spiritual or, you know, emotional bond here with Scorpio and Pisces back to back. But definitely a lot of back and forth uh, communication here. If that is what you want, Scorpio, new love or past, it seems very positive. Past person, there is some challenges. 
um, that you will need to work through right if you are wanting another chance but all relationships come with challenges so let's connect more into your past person's energy or whoever this person is on your mind past life wow okay we have deja vu repeated patterns karmic lessons yeah, I think you're tired of the karmic lessons with that Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Um, we had the world upright twice in your energy, so that is a thumbs up from the universe. They're saying um, you've learned what you needed to, right? And you're free now of your karmic lesson when it comes to this situation, at least. But there's a, there's a sense of fate or destiny um, that brought the both of you together. And I think this person is aware, right? that there's more to this with the king of cups eighth house they are someone who's very emotional they can be quite intuitive may even have psychic abilities with that eighth house but some of them may not have tapped into those gifts with the high priestess in reverse or they may be in denial right because they were having a hard time um making sense of their emotions to some extent but you both could have been in a loop here as well with that Wheel of Fortune, right? Going in circles here, um, which you were cut, you know, you weren't wanting that with the King of Swords. You're saying, I need change. I can't keep going round and round in circles with you, right? Especially if this person was indecisive and doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't give you that clarity or, you know, if this person isn't giving you any clarity or they were sneaking around, I see you finding that clarity for yourself with that King of Swords. King of Swords can also be getting your own closure. Definitely see that. Suit, toxicity, resilience. So this can be someone that was pursuing you um, in the past. So this could have been sort of that runner chaser dynamic, but we did have, to we have toxicity here, right? And they were seeing you as the devil in reverse. Wow. I want one more for this person's energy, King of Cups energy. Could have been another water sign you were dealing with. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It is energy we are looking at, but we do have a lot of water coming through for their energy. We have Bluff, Pretending, Mask, Exaggeration. Yeah, some of you, this person was pretending to be something they're not. And perhaps they portray themselves as this King of Cups. This won't be for everyone. It's a side message. You know, perhaps they're portraying themselves as this King of Cups, someone who has your best interest at heart. Um, they're very compassionate, caring. But they led you down a dark hole here, right? With the Moon and Five of Pentacles, bringing out the worst in you bringing out your worst fears here as well right leaving you very unsure uncertain about yourself a lot of doubts creeping in um so those of you that went through something as extreme as that i think um you're doing the right thing by choosing yourself here and doing what's best for you right we also have dist wow okay we have spying and distance so some of you if you're dealing with someone that is at a distance and that may have been an uh, issue between the both of you right which i briefly mentioned in their outcome they can be keeping an eye on you we have social network so it can be over social media that they spy on you it's almost watching another from afar right We have trust will be rebuilt and reaching a compromise. Okay, so yes, those of you that you want to work things out with whoever's energy I'm connecting with here, um, they're saying, yeah, you definitely can. And if there was some deception here, trust can be rebuilt here um, between the both of you if that is what you want. This is the Love Fortune Teller deck. And we'll see what else you can expect when it comes to this connection for the rest of the year.
happy times ahead. We like that. Definitely for you. Um, it's a win-win outcome for you. We had Jupiter here twice blessing you, blessing your reading. A lot of your major arcana, Scorpio, is what I noticed in your side of the spread. A lot of the major arcana came through upright. So it's almost the stars, the universe is supporting you. They have your back. We have guilt and regret. Um, Ten of Swords can be guilt and regret on this person's end, right? We did have them in a lot of anxiety, pain, if they've done you wrong. Um, but in others of you, Ten of Wands can also be someone who's carrying guilt. So it really depends. Um, if you're not feeling... And guilt and regret doesn't mean we did another wrong. Um, it can be in terms of, you know, why didn't I recognize the red flags, you know? So that can be also because we had five of cups. You know, if I had said, said done this, things would have been different. Um, you know, if I had established stronger boundaries, it's sort of a should have, could have, would have energy. So it definitely can be mutual, right? If that is the case, don't be so hard on yourself because I am getting with that past life, there was some karma that needed to be worked out. So, you know, you were meant to grow and learn from the situation. It's not your fault. We have let go of neediness. I had neediness on in both of your energies. Um, so this could have been a very codependent relationship with that devil in reverse which you're uh, releasing yourself. At least this person is perceiving you as someone who's breaking free. So whether you relate to that or not, um, you would know. A lot of you, I was getting that you were very clear in terms of what you wanted, where you were headed in your feelings, but in your outcome, I see you being unsure or uncertain again. But a lot of this has to do with you doubting yourself. Um, you're on the right track, so don't doubt yourself. Let's get one more. What can Scorpio expect here? Suffering in silence, you can make the first move. So you can make the first move can be both of you waiting on the other, right? To do take that first step. And suffering in silence, yeah. That if there is distance, um, silence, then that you know, you're missing one another. It's saying you're over you're becoming a better person. They're also saying, trust the plan and overcoming obstacles. Some of you, we have, there's someone better and wants you back. The trust the plan, overcoming obstacles, becoming a better person, yeah. So all these challenges you've been through is not in vain. It is teaching you, right? You are growing, which is beautiful. And some of you, it can be when you're moving on, this person rushes back in. Sometimes that's how it works, right? For your advice, Scorpio, we have grace. I face disagreements with grace and flow through the ups and downs of my relationships without getting thrown off center. With grace, I'm able to keep my cool, be my best self, and not resort to name calling, even when that crappy poo poo face is being a douchey barf monster. Yeah, so this card is telling me that there will be some disagreements, some challenges, but they're wanting you to face disagreements gracefully, right? Um, don't lose yourself. Um, be in your integrity. Say it like it is. King of Swords usually is, I don't think I need to advise you on how to put people in their place. I think you, you know, you know what to do, but this is probably just a, a reminder here, right? That don't lower your standard. Stay in your power and know your self-worth with that Queen of Wands. But yes, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will be back with another video next week. Bye!